Okay, we're taking a look at how good Sean is at Five Star Bronze. Uh, not a content creator, so don't have Hogan's to train and things like that. Uh, just regular trainers that are probably pretty common. So, as far as trainers, uh, Akim, Titus, just Ronda and Sako against Vader. He can still lay a beating on you. Uh, just to show you the five star move. So, Flying Forearm Smash, mine is only level 8. I think once you get it maxed, it does about 97% damage increase. So, I tried it. Uh, it did do a really big hit. It hit for like 360,000 damage. But uh, Vader kicked out and then I had no way to recycle. So I'm going with the finisher, the 4-star build. Actually, I guess this would be the 3-star build. But I still find it very effective. As long as there's a yellow match on the board, you, you're looking really good. So hit that, take the yellow match, and then turn two, he's going to be getting a big hit. Um, yeah, he goes for red, which is great. I'm actually not going to use that yellow because only one immobile gem was destroyed, and I'd like to save it. Uh, to recycle the finisher in case a lot of these immobile gems get destroyed. Um, you do want to keep at least like 8 or 10 of them on the board if you can. Hope for a pretty good cascade here. Mm, that's unfortunate. Kind of a lower end hit there. Usually it's around 250, give or take. So, how many does he make here? He makes 16. I'm going to use it now. Just increases the likelihood of getting some matches and more yellows on the board. Sometimes the finisher can do just as big of damage as the black gems. So not bad. I definitely have some board advantage here. Because green's full now. Uh, 70,000, well, let's just take those off the board. There we go. So Sean is not a one-hit striker unless you really are pumping up his damage, maybe with Fury, but good damage and really, really great recycling, at least with this build. Oh, this is going to smash him for quite a lot of damage. He might not even kick out of this. I don't think he'll kick out. Dead. Okay, that's the first build. I'm going to do the secondary build. All right. Okay, let's go Vader again. Let's swap out the moves for the other build, which actually is pretty underrated. I actually like this build too. So you got your Moon Salt, which makes blue gems. You got your Enziguri, which um, spews a bunch of black on the board. And you got your Reversal. And then this way, the only Entourage member I need to switch is the MP Trainer. I am aware that if you're running the first build there, you can you can use uh, Striker Rocky to pump the immobile gem damage, but I just I prefer the recycling. All right, so let's go at him with this build. What I like about this one is when perks are active, your move is turn one, and then so you can hammer him with. The blue move on turn one. It won't be in this case because we just we just ended a monthly event, so it's not going to give me that uh, turn one advantage. But that's okay. All right, here we go. This one's a little slower than the first build I find. Still pretty reliable though. Really good recycling too. So I could take that 5 match and just do some damage, or I could just 
You know what, I'm just going to lay this down and recycle or kick out move. You never know what the AI tends to give itself a lot of uh, favorable drops. I, I prefer to do the double line break myself. Um, you can match to other blues and do a, a larger area. So that's pretty much it for Sean. Um, I'd say very good showboat. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> striker still.